Okay, so students look here, page number 80. Everyone open page number 80, chapter 11, force, work and energy. So today we will start from this part, energy. Okay, last day I have told you up to screw, up to this part. Now, let's see what is energy. The ability to do any work is called energy. So for doing any kind of work, whether we want to move our hand, our leg, even for blinking our eyes, for any type of activity or any type of work that we do in our daily life, for our survival, to, to stay alive, whatever we do, we need energy for that. When we walk, run, talk, play, we use that energy. Energy is not only required by us to perform different activities, but also it is necessary for the movement of some non-living uh, things also, like cars, flight, planes, all these things. So for living things, as well as for non-living things, we need the energy. What is the source of energy? There are different sources of energy from which we get the energy. First one is the sun. It is the natural source of energy. The sun is the main source of energy on the earth. The energy we get from the sun is called the solar energy. So the energy that we get from the sun, not only we, the human beings, all the animals and plants also, they get their energy from the sun. And that energy that we get from the sun, it is called solar energy. Planets use solar energy to make their own food in the process of, so what is the process by which pl plants, sorry, what is the process by which plants make their food? So that will be plants. Plants use solar energy to make their food by the process of photosynthesis. Okay? The process, the name of the process is photosynthesis. That food is consumed by the human beings. Consumed means eaten. We eat that food, the food that the plants, green plants make. The sun also gives heat and light. So we also get light from the sun. During the daytime, you can we can see everything. At night, we need to light up some artificial light, lights like uh, that we use. So, but during the daytime, we can directly get the sun's light. And this is why we can see everything properly. Next source of energy is wind. Wind energy is also a natural source of energy. Wind processes energy and which is called wind energy. The energy is used to generate electricity and for rotating the blades of the windmill. Here you can see the picture is also given at the leftmost corner at the bottom you can see on the page that the pictures of windmill are given here. So when the wind blows these blades will rotate and due to this rotation that energy is captured by a motor that is motor that is present at the that is present behind these blades and that motor converts this wind energy into electrical energy. And this is how we get the electricity by using the wind energy. Now go to the next page. Here you can see it is written water. The water falling from the height possesses energy that is used to turn the machines called turbines to generate electricity. So when water is falling from a particular height, then it has a very high speed, like water that is falling from mountains. In waterfalls, you must have seen that the speed of the water is very high. But in rivers, the speed is not that much, right? So the speed of water in waterfall is much more than the speed of water in a river, right? So that speed of water, we can, uh, we can use it and uh, by the use of these machines called turbines, we can convert it into electricity. This energy that we are getting from the water, it is called water energy. So solar energy, wind energy, and water energy, all these three are natural sources of energy. Now some artificial, one another natural source is there, which is called geothermal energy. So though it is not given in much more details in your book, just the definition is written here. The heat stored inside the earth, that is called the geothermal energy. We also sometimes use it to produce the electricity. Next is fuel. Fuel is also there, like coal, petroleum, 
kerosene diesel these are the non renewable natural source of energy so solar energy wind energy water energy that we get from water that energy we can use it again and again and they will never be finished but these substances these things like coal petrol kerosene diesel they are present at the, just they are present under the ground and they are present at a very limited amount or limited quantity okay if we use them again and again uncontrollably then what will happen after some time they will be finished and we will not be able to use them again so this is why they are called they are called what tell me non renewable energy resources okay so coal petrol kerosene diesel they are some common fuels fuel means what helps to burn everything or to uh, create the fire that is the fuel okay these fuels have energy which is used in many ways coal is used for cooking petrol is used to run the vehicles that's it so you don't need to write any more detail only the definition and examples that is what is given in this chapter and you will also have to write this much forms of energy energy is present in different forms these forms can change from one form to another just you uh, you read the names of these different forms of energy that are given here mechanical energy electrical energy chemical energy magnetic energy heat energy and sound energy these are some um other forms of energy okay next you can see that that le lesson in short a small box is there so don't skip this box you will have to read this box also as i have told you before when uh, i was telling uh, explaining the previous chapters that short type questions will come from these small boxes at the end of the chapter that are given okay so here you can see all the topics that you have learned in this chapter that is written in short in single sentences so read these sentences i'm not repeating them again read these sentences because short type questions will come from this chapter now this chapter the reading portion of this chapter is complete we are going to start the exercise okay the students who wants to tell the answer or who can tell the answer you raise your hand one by one i will just call your name and so that you can tell the answer students who want to tell the answer or who can tell the answers of this exercise questions you raise your hand and everyone take out your everyone take out your science copy so that you can write the answers okay so the first question here that is given fill in the blanks number 1 question number 1 dash can change the direction of a moving object dash can change the direction of a moving object and options are also given here not as ali not as you unmute your device yes ma'am so what will be the answer models ma'am the number 1 dash can change the direction of a moving object will be force so the answer will be force okay we will check the answer at the end okay now the next yes models you want to tell me anything else yes ma'am i have doubts regarding the chapter Okay, tell me, tell me what doubt you have from from this chapter? Yes, ma'am. From this chapter, right? Yes. Okay, tell it. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, what is what is meaning of slanting? Yes, tell it again. Slanting. Slanting. Okay. So, slanting means. anything that is inclined okay that is not straight so if uh, can you see me right now can no, you see me one second ma'am yes no ma'am no 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 you check in one device i am share with one device i am sharing the screen with an yes, another yes, device no, my video is all yes, there okay yes, so if this is plain 
So this one will be slanting. That means it it creates an angle that is not plane. Okay, that is inclined. That is called slanting. Is it clear? Oh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, what is slanting lines? You have practiced slanting lines, standing lines. Yes, right? ma'am. Slanting lines. I know that is that is like this type. Yes, diagonal. And what is that meaning is... of? Okay, what is meaning of sewing? Yes, what is the meaning of sewing? S e w i n g. Sewing. Okay, so sewing means when you um. Okay, when you drop, suppose a seed. Okay, when you drop a seed and uh, you pour water to it. Add water to it, and if it gets sufficient amount of sunlight and air, then what happens? Germination, right? You have learnt it previously. That means from that seed, what will come out? Seedling, baby plant will come out, right? So this process when the baby plant will come out, that is the germination. But for that, sorry, for that sowing, that is written here, right? That is sowing. That is written here in this chapter. For that, you need to put the seeds at a particular distance first. So this is called. This is what is called sowing the seeds. Okay. Mm -hmm. I put the machines like bulldozer, bicycle, and sewing machine. Yes, Nora. Tell it a little bit loudly because I can't hear properly. Yeah, Maybe I due to network problem, I don't know. I want... But what you are telling okay. your voice is cracking i can't hear the words properly ma'am yes ma yes yes tell it ma'am in i found that word in types of machines some machines are very big and complex some are small and simple machines like bulldozer bicycle okay so sewing, sewing, sewing machine. machine you are telling sewing machine not sewing the seeds you are yes. telling sewing machines that means the machines that are used they are sewing that that is sewing not sewing sewing means sewing means making our clothes for making the clothes we need to uh, sew it that means we uh, we need to use the threads in a particular way or uh, in a particular manner with the help of the needles that is the sewing sewing machines means the machines that we use to sew our clothes to make our clothes okay that means with the help of the threads and needle, we need to either knit it or we need to uh, we need to make the cloth. In uh, we need to arrange the threads in a particular manner so that we can make the cloth. That is the process is called sewing in sewing machines and sewing the seed is a separate thing. Okay, what I told you, I told you that I couldn't hear what you are telling. I thought you were telling that sewing the seeds. That is a separate thing. But from this chapter, sewing machine means the machines that help us to make our clothes with threads and needles. Okay, that's it. Okay, ma'am. Last two doubts, ma'am. But yes, ma'am. More doubts, two doubts. Doubt. Okay, quickly tell me quickly. Yes, ma'am. Turbine, turbine. Turbines are the machines. That help us to convert the water energy into electrical energy. Okay. Next. Okay. Last doubt, ma'am. Ma'am, how we can use the heat energy and sound energy? Okay. Sound energy. The vibrations that come from the sound, we can convert it Hello, into another form or another mode of energy. This is how we can use the sound energy. And the sound energy is also used for uh, making so many different things, even for making electricity also, okay? So we can convert the form of energy into any other form of energy. And heat energy, we can, we so actually we use the heat energy in many different ways. We use the heat energy that we get from the sun in solar cookers for making or for cooking our foods, like, right? In solar cooker. So we can use them. Is there any more doubt, Noras? Because we have already no, started doing the exercise. Okay, no, that's very good. No, no. Now let's see the next question. The force exerted by our muscle is called. The force exerted by our muscle, which is called. 
দেবস্মিতা দুয়ারি আলম Hello ma'am Yes Farza now tell me what will be the answer Ma'am I don't know answer ma'am I tell that why I am uh, leave class uh, one two week that's why I will unmute myself Yes you were not present there for many days you were not present there yeah. uh, but I what you will have to do Farzana you will have to write one application okay on a sheet of paper i have told uh, you have to have told it to everyone before also on a sheet of paper you will have to write an application from this day to the, this day i couldn't attend the classes because of this problem okay take a photo of that application and post it to the school chat chat section okay you need yes, to write the application okay ma'am today send it i will retain also okay thank you ma'am okay students right now i have a notice for you all everyone listen to me very carefully i have a notice that uh, today from 3 pm to 4 pm there will be one live uh, session with sohini ghosh she is ch child counselor on parenting and child counseling okay on our school's web website you will get the link it will be a facebook live okay uh, you are all requested to attend it okay and your parents also tell it to your parents also from our school's website you will get it you will get the link from 3 pm to 4 pm today you will see uh, shohini ghosh she is a child counselor she will uh, take uh, there will be a facebook live about parenting and child counseling okay tell your parents also to attend this session okay so this is a notice this is a short notice from your school today from 3 pm to 4 pm and uh, you will get the link in our school's website also okay now let's see the exercise again i hope farzana you have understood what you will have to do you will have to write an application that from this date to this date i was absent in the school or i couldn't attend the classes due to this reason okay then your you will write and to whom you will write this to the class teacher st xavier's public school bagna okay and at the end you will write your name and uh, signature of your parent okay parent signature it will be there write the date take a photo of it and send it to the school chat chat section okay then i will see it and approve it okay is it clear okay now i am sharing the screen again though there is very less time left but we will complete this section let's see what was the question the the machines like needle knife scissor opener etc are dash let's see what will be the answer who can tell me the answer poshali poshali you are mute your device and can you tell the answer yes poshali unmute your device ma'am what will be the answer see i am showing you all the options ma'am simple 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 machines right 
Yes, ma'am. Temple marriage. Okay. Now let's see what is the next question. Nusaiba Parveen, tell me the answer of this question. Dash is a slope that connects the lower surface with the upper surface. Dash yes, is a slope that connects the upper surface with the lower surface. Inclined plane. Inclined plane. Plane. Okay. And ma'am. Yes, Nusaiba. Ma'am, can you show the routine of exam? Routine, you have got it. It is already posted in the schools no, and chat section. No, ma'am. No. Yes, it is present there. I check every day. But okay, if you want it, I will again send it today. Okay? I will again okay. send it today. Next. The ability to do work is called dash. The ability to do work is called dash. Sheikh Sahil Jamal. Sheikh Sahil Jamal, unmute your device. Yes, ma'am. The ability to do work, what is it called? Which one, ma'am? The ability to do work. Which one will be the answer that I'm showing you here? You can see the options. The ability to do work is called? Ma'am, you can show one minute the question. This is the question. Question number five. The ability to do work is called? What will be the energy. answer? Energy. Energy. Very good. Very good. Okay. So now the last question for today. The heat stored inside the earth. The heat stored inside the earth. The heat stored inside the earth is called Ankita Shao. Ankita, you unmute your device. Yes, ma'am. Ma what will be the answer? Thermal energy. Geothermal energy. Okay, very good. So now students, let's check the answers. The answers that you have just given to me. Okay, so all the answers are correct. Very good students. Now I'm again showing you, I'm quickly showing you all the answers. Force, first answer will be force. Second answer will be muscular force. Third answer will be simple machines. Fourth answer will be inclined plane. Fifth answer will be energy. And sixth answer will be geothermal energy. Okay, so these are the answers of Part A, exercise part A. In the next class, we will complete this exercise and the think and answer questions of the previous chapter. Okay? So in the next class, our syllabus with the exercise question answers will be completed. And as that will be, we have only two more classes left. I will tell you some of the diagrams and important questions in the next two classes. So don't miss these two last classes, okay? These are very important classes. So bye, 